Okay, so I'm doing these soft locks on like I haven't cut the ends yet. I'm just doing them, but I have my hair all um what you call it braided. But I'm gonna show y'all the products I used or and that I'm using to do this stuff right now. This right here for the main part, the block. And I'm using these for the wrapping process, but I don't think I have enough because. Um, Take two little rubber bands, these new ones, and 
Okay, so I got all these done so far, and these are the ends. Pretty long, but I'm gonna go past my behind. But I might just leave them how they are because they look pretty cool. So let's get another one. I'm gonna show y'all up close how to do it. So you do a little lock, find a little hole, should be at the top. Make it a little bigger, a little bit bigger. Take your little sticky stick thingy. Make sure the flat thingy's down. I'm gonna just do a voiceover just in case if you're still lost on how to do it. But you're gonna wanna take your crochet needle and take it to the very top of your braid and find a little loophole to push it through. And you want to push all the way through and you want to get your little piece of hair and take the hole make it bigger and lat put it on the little latch right there and then when it's through the little hole clip your latch and all you gotta do is pull it through and when you pull it through all you want to do is take your regular hair and make the hole a little bigger with the fake hair that you just crochet through your real hair and put your fake hair, which your fake hair, <laughs> put your real hair through the fake hair, like the hole like that, and just pull on your lock. And it should get tighter at the top. So it stays together. And then when you have that, all you gotta do is take your wave hair and you want to fluff it out. You don't want it, you know, all clumped up because it's not going to look. I mean, if you want it like that, but it'll slam. And when you go to wrap your hair, make sure you do it a couple times at the top so it's tight and it's locked in so it won't go anywhere. And just twist it all the way to the bottom so you can't twist anymore. Make sure you keep your twists close I together. Here done. I got this whole side of here done. I started to do back of my head but i got okay. two of these done got to do okay. say hey youtube hey youtube i'm gonna get this finished all right youtube so we're going to You're poking your eyeball out. <laughs> <laughs> Icon. It's a bat, bro. It's the coin, and it's kind of, you know. <gasps> it's a bat. Yeah. Work for me. Give me my butt back. Give me my butt coin back. Girl's really tired to take my back coin. Oh, yeah, I it was back in It's 2020. It. <gasps> 2020. You know how they were talking about the bat was that's eating back to China. That's what it called <gasps> Corona. Oh my gosh. And there's a bat on the coin. Wow. 
That's crazy. <gasps> it's so little. Here it is, the final product. Here's the final. I need to cut the end off from some of them. But this one looks like. helpful make sure you leave a like um if you think i should do more um hair tutorials uh i will but let me go ahead and all i did was cut the ends off see how it's extra i mean you don't have to cut them off but i did cut them off just a little bit but yeah. that's how i did mine if you want to i mean i've done this one like three times for the hair. Probably do a couple more, a couple of times, make sure it's cleaned up. Hope y'all enjoy.